All right, guys, so we are back at Muscle Factory today for day two of training with John. Um, so we got quite a conglomerate of exercises for today in John's session. Uh, a little bit of back work, a little bit of hamstring work, a little bit of split squats just for like overall leg volume and session, some bicep work as well. Um, so excited to dive in for this. It fits fairly well into my split structure that I'm going to be phasing into, which I will do a video on for you guys soon. But diving into single arm pull down first and ready to rock. All right, John, big grab here. Yep. I'll probably go down to 120 after this. Yeah, same. Oh, 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 can I do my right side? <laughs> Only if you want to. <laughs> one big lap, one little lap. <laughs> Alright guys, so on the single arm pull down, excellent rotation is something that a lot of us lack. So you'll see people lean to the side in order to account for that. We just don't want to excessively lean because part of single arm pull down is letting that lat get all the way around the ribcage and excessively leaning can really cram that lat down where we're not getting that wraparound effect. So just make sure the amount that you're doing is just enough to get that elbow aligned well and really set up the pull down where you need it. Is that touching with a plate? Die? What? Are there different six? Six? There's six on both, right? Oh, almost off my needs. I, I probably need the RDL more than the SLDL. For like, because you need the glute too. Glute, probably more than ham. I would agree, but I'm not writing your programming. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Just. I sometimes extend to the right. Hmm. I catch a lot of left hamstring tension, so I had to be like really intentional with the descent. Yeah, you're definitely, you're not going into any lumbar flexion either. Yeah. If you went any further, you would. Yeah, to sit back with my hips some, it just maxes out. I'd have to like let it drift out to gain more hip. Come on, wake up. <sighs> Come on, Luke. How'd that look? Those look good. The bottom felt really controlled. Yeah, you haven't even been doing this. <laughs> Maybe that's why. 
You gotta find your groove with it, right? Yeah, that bottom position, it's like shifts around, like trying to find it, you know? Does it move on you on those racks? Um, if I start with it, like, if I get up to it where I'm gonna pull from, it's fine, you know? Yeah. It's more me, like, where am I wanting <laughs> to set this, right? Yep, 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 yep. Had a little more of me, but could get sketchy. <laughs> you let it drift on that last one. It, uh, the descent of that last one was the furthest out from you that you went. Like, I started close. And then you went, went out, out, and that felt like really good. Maybe a lot. Well, you know, when I was setting it down, the last one. Yeah. So the ones I said that's on the money was like perfect RDL. That last one that you, I thought you debated going for it. Oh. And then didn't. That bar drifted on. Oh, you. I was. Oh, you were. That was me, okay. letting it go. I didn't know if you were debating. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, the decision was made. <laughs> yeah. So you'll see, like, it looks like our end ranges are different because. John's able to get to the rack, and I'm not. But in reality, we're both going to the point where that hip is maximally traveling from the bar for an RDL, and we're stopping at the point before we go into lumbar flexion. I'm just two inches taller than John, and so that stop point for me is different than him, and I also have longer femurs as well. So double whammy for me. I haven't done this in a bit. I know in the beginning I said, oh, yeah, I'm going to do a... Stiff leg deadlift, that was what I had in mind. <laughs> but as like, I go through the logic of needs, I'm like stiff leg deadlift would be great for hamstring more bias and lower back. Really, I need glute. So it really is RDL is really what I, want, I needed. I just had this idea of like wanting to pull from the floor, just more like a preference and <laughs> kind of just enjoyment, but Kind of like uh, the rational logic kicked in, so RDL fits really well. So that's what uh, the setup is today. Come on, get it all the way there. Go. Oh, that was rowdy. Huh? My like C1 like popped. You all right? Right when I got in position. You, so, right? you ever have that one pop up there? Like Not feels often. like it echoes through your skull. <laughs> Not often. Okay. <laughs> Can't say that. Like, no, not at all. Can't say I've experienced that one on the regular. Oh, come on. Oh. Three, two, yep. Oh, mine. Yes, 
some of that. Uh, this piece comes back at you quite quickly. So there's a big arc on it. So for me, in order to get that where I need it for full retraction, I have to sit down on the seat quite a bit so that I'm not going into that too high of an elbow plane and shorten that range. So feels good. Um, bottom position is really nice because that, that plane really gets me into a fully protracted scap. So which is the goal with the T-bar. So really happy with this as this movement. What'd you say was after this? A pullover. boring either. <laughs> Before I got here, I hadn't trained in five days, so that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> I don't know what I was just doing. I, I didn't work. I didn't just feel it. I just, <laughs> I don't know. Are you that gone? <laughs> I just did some reps and I'll work this next one. <laughs> work the next one. This is what happens when you film four hours straight before you train. I feel so fucked from yesterday. I heard. I did. I heard the rumor. I just didn't know if it was a finalized thing or not. Yeah, I was told it was a final thing. Are they changing the date? Are they bringing it back to the old date? I don't know about that. That's terrible. <laughs> well, I like my rec fins attached, so. <laughs> I know you play in a different ball game, but. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Left leg first, because it's the worst leg. Felt good.
Woo. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, find a chair now. <laughs> Feel good, don't they? Yeah, it's a little, a little shaky. But it's good. Yeah, yeah. I think that'll be a good one I keep in. This is the only thing that keeps me squatting. I mean, there's a couple of things, but like I think there's a large transfer. Yeah, buddy. Whoop. Whoa, come on. Come on, Luke. Let's go. Uh, come on. Uh. Wow, that's a wrap. There it is, yeah. You stuck? <laughs> Wheelchair in. <laughs> oh, that felt good. It's so much like accumulation so fast of like blood. It's like I'm good in 14, 15. It's like I hit 10. I'm like, yeah, these are good. You're right. Yeah. And then it kicks in like, oh, no. <laughs> like you can barely lock your quad out. You're like, oh. <laughs> and it's shaking though. And you're like, my leg might snap, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's something good to remember, like, too. On those later reps, like, being patient with that descent so that you find that right position because of that stability to component, playing a larger role as you fatigue. And finding that bottom position is so important here, especially if you're, like, biasing one direction or the other. In that fatigue state, so. Taking that hesitation to really ensure that descent ends where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Reintegrate the proper pattern. Come on. Come on. Go. Yeah, good rap. Should have done this leg first. <laughs> oh. This glute's really tight. It yeah. lacks the internal rotation. So once this stay out, should have started with it. I just Did I went into my it? right leg, you know, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I might think I'll just do uh, two here. Assess that from there, yeah? I agree. Week That's one for both of us. Three would, sounds stupid, but three would fuck me up, I think, yeah. <laughs> oh, RFE round two. Challenger Luke Miller. Win what? the RFE. <laughs> uh, come on. Oh. Yes, come on. Control. Drive. Oh, again. Oh. oh, that's the one. That one looked better. You feel better? Way better. I felt more midfoot.
I like these because it keeps me very like goal oriented for biceps. Because a lot of times it'll just be like log the weight. And I don't even count reps and shit. Just <laughs> I need a bit more accountability, and this this does it. Ah, oh, that's it. Motherfuck. God, that shot. Hop. Oh. Come on. Let's Hup. go, Luke. Come on. Oh, that's it. Fuck. Oh. How heavy is that? Heavy enough. Come on, don't be a bitch. God. Wrapping up the conglomerate session uh, with some bicep work. Rest pause on the dumbbell. We'll do some straight sets on this hammer. Call it a day. Uh, we got a rest day tomorrow, so nice little chillax day of filming nonstop. So. Fun for us, but even more fun for y'all because y'all got more content coming your way. But make sure you guys like the video. Uh, comment with any questions you guys have below. Uh, subscribe to that channel and turn notifications on. And until next time, take no off switch in the pursuit of results.